Good evening, everyone. I'm Andrew Reeser. A big mix up to tell you about at the Board of Elections, the Bibb Board of Elections, I should say. Nearly 800 Bibb County voters were registered in the wrong district, and those who have already cast their ballot can't vote again. We just learned about this from Janetta Watson, the election supervisor. 41 NBC's Ashley Manelli joins us live now from Vineville United Methodist Church, where the candidates are gathered for a forum. She has more on this developing story. Ashley. Andrew, here's what happened. When voter information was sent out, 788 voters were registered in District 2, who were supposed to be registered in District 3. Janetta Watson, the supervisor of the Board of Elections, tells me between Monday and Tuesday of this week, 17 of those voters have already voted, and they, their ballots were counted in the District 2 race. Watson says under Georgia law, unfortunately, those voters won't be able to vote again. She tells me the rest of the 771 voters, however, who have already have already been re-registered in the correct district. Over the phone, she expressed some condolences to me, saying, quote, we are sincerely sorry and the voters being in the wrong district was not done intentionally. We expressed our sincerest apologies to the voters and the candidates. And Andrew, the controversy of this election season is heating up once again, this time in District 9 tonight. Councilman Henry Gibson has filed an appeal with the Bibb County Superior Court alleging that the appeal meeting where he challenged Al Tillman's residency in D District 9 wasn't done the right way. So I spoke with him and I'm going to be talking to Al Tillman tonight regarding his reaction to this appeal and of course more of the voter, the candidates here at this forum tonight. Let me explain a little bit how it's working. Tonight's forum just kicked off and they're separate, separated into districts. There's districts 6, 7, 8, and 9. The candidates will be sitting and meeting one-on-one -on -one pretty much with the candidates in their district and you've still got time to come out here and voice your questions and concerns. Again, we are at Vineville United Methodist Church that's at 2045 Vineville Avenue and I'll have more on all of these election and voting issues and the candidates forum tonight on the news at 11 for now reporting live in Macon Ashley Minnelli 41 NBC News